welcome back friend today in this video i will show you that how to change the column and filter for human x a1 analyzer these two are filters and there is rf card that is coming with new kit and there is one column normally in hba1c analyzer that human x analyzer we can run 800 test so when 800 test will complete that time we have to change the rf card uh, column and the filter so each with each box this coming uh, four a h reagents coming two a reagents coming one b reagent coming and one filter column and rf card is coming so if we will open the right door of the human x a1 analyzer there is the card inside so now machine have already zero test so we have to change so now we will see how to change first we have to remove this rf card machine you can keep on no need to switch off the machine and left side there is column section and filter section in this knob inside when we will open this knob there we will change the filter and when we will open this box we will change the column first we will change the field uh, rf card so just you have focus on the rf card position one card one side of card is fully blank and one side of card is labeled so labeled card uh, labeled side you have to keep on left side and blank uh, side of the card it should be on the right side now when i will remove you will see this is the rf card now you see new card uh, this is now you see left side labeling is on left side that rf card and right side is fully blank so in same position we will insert the new card <clears throat> sorry like that way it's easy to insert there is no hard and fast rules like that you see and you will insert then we will close that door and now we will move to the column this box that lock is just downward you can move it upward and it will open so now we will open that and we will open the knobs and there we the arrow side we will just focus now you see the arrow in uh, left side direction so column also we will place in same direction we will remove this cover so that our hand will move easily we will pull out this column we will open that two knobs like screws it's easy and then we will make keep the new column like that you will open and we will take the new column new column is coming like that we will open the lock red locks we will remove and discard and now you can see arrow direction on the column and arrow direction on the screen of the machine so in same direction we will keep the column just closely tight sorry tight closely <clears throat> and again we will keep inside the column box this column like that direction and we will close the box keep that lid downward tightly it will close now we will change the filter uh, filter uh, coming there are two filters uh, 400 test 400 test so when 400 test will complete we will uh, change the second filter so we will move this knob anti-clockwise direction and it will open just we will remove this filter uh, one hand you can keep down so that filter uh, you will remove it should not fall down it will come in our hand like that and then we will place the new filter
and in any direction we can keep there is no right, right front or back side and uh, both are same so you just insert in that uh, filter area and then we will close this knob and now closing time we have to move clockwise and then close this tightly now we will take out our accessories and these uh, filter column that we removed that we can discard in general waste now we will move to the screen to update our changes we will go to the setup then we will go to the reagent information in reagent information first is column remain column now you see automatically remain column came 800 but now we have to confirm so we will confirm and we have to click run it will when it will we will click yes and when it will complete 100% after we will return to the main screen again so we will wait now you see it become 100% now we will return to the main screen and again we will go reagent information and now we will have to confirm the filter we will click confirm and we will click run and then we will wait for 100% after completing 100% we will return now we will see the analysis that our column and filter is updated or not now you see it's already updated now remain column is 800 and filter column is 400 440 test uh, sorry i told before 400 but it is 440 test so like that we will update the screen uh, from the screen and uh, when we will change the column and filter and now we can run the sample in same way we in setup only if we will change the reagent also from setup we will update that also thank you so much